Well, boys and girls, welcome back to the channel. There ain't been much going on this week, but <clears throat> it's rained roughly four to five inches. And now we have ducks landing on our bean field. As you can see, the water's backed in here out of the creek down the way. And we're just driving around this morning, checking everything out, making sure we don't need to put no pumps in. This field, there's nothing we can do with. The water will get off it fairly quick. It's uh, at a high enough elevation compared to the bottoms down that way that it's fine, but there goes the ducks. They're landing right out there. We're gonna keep driving around and looking at all the flood water, see what else is going on. It's Hopefully we ain't gonna put no pumps in. Now this field of beans is at a much lower elevation than the field of beans that I just was at with the water on it. And this creek's still running the right direction. But as much water is still up stream, these beans could end up underwater just in a matter of a day here. I don't know if this water is still dropping out or not, but all that water has to make its way down here but then will sometimes back into this field here and that field over there so fingers crossed that everything keeps running but this might be the last time we see these beans right here or at least on this end well welcome to the lake this is the 60 acres of beans that the beaver dam had held water on Oh, well, it's not beaver dam problems no more. It's just uh, rained a little bit too much. We've had about probably four to five inches of rain here in the past three or four days. And this morning you saw some water. It has went down a little bit, but I don't know if it's gonna drop enough to start letting this go out. So we might have to pull the pump down here finally we waited around it's about one o'clock now see if water was dropping very quick it's only dropped about a foot and it lacks quite a more feet quite a few more feet before this water will start receding our big bottoms I can't get down to it it's too muddy I'm gonna try looking at it from the hill up here and we'll just see what, <coughs> what happens we might go get the pump. It's hard to say. Well, boys and girls, we put the pump in. We didn't get no video of it. We've had all sorts of trouble getting set up. But basically, there's a centrifugal pump down there, forcing water through this hose out into there on the other side of this little levee. 16 inch pump. I don't know how many gallon a minute it is, but belching her out. Over there on the other 60. 
but anyhow, me and Rod just headed down to get the hose hooked up and get this pump churning. It will, uh, it'll flat pump some water for you water flowing lovers. Means I like this video, I think. I don't know, probably more a few videos I shot of us setting the pump up the other day in the, the beginning of this video. So if you've watched this far, you're getting ready to see another pump get set up. Hopefully I'll get a little footage of that this time. But we're gonna get on down the levee here get on the levee and then get off the levee and go through some water and I'll uh, get back with you. Well this is the road to our field. If that tells you why it's hard to get down here to see what's going on. It's a little bit underwater and it takes a tractor to get to it. But she's, uh, she's fairly deep. We're just Headed in, once we get past this, these, these ain't our beans. These are the neighbors. We gotta cross over that little hump and then go down that levee, down to where we pump. We've got a ditch down there that'll bring the, drain the water to us, so. She's deep, could be better. talking on the phone right now. So he only running about 1300 RPMs. That's still moving a lot of water. There's the creek. Still got a ways to drop out before any of our lids will open on our doors for our tank car down here. So it'll drain out naturally. So this is where we're at with it. Hopefully we'll get it pumped out here today and tomorrow and save the beans down here because it don't look like it's going to drop anytime real soon. He's speeding her up now. I'm pretty sure if I've got my tables right, that pump, whenever she's blowing a full pipe, will pump 26,000 gallons a minute, just for anyone interested. You couldn't stand up in that water. It'd blow you down. Michael's back at the farm. He's getting ready to fuel the 9520 up. We're just going to use it as a fuel transport wagon, basically. Put a transfer pump down in the tank, cart fuel in and out with a pump tractor. 
we usually have a big tank we pull down in here, but it ain't gonna take a whole lot of fuel. Like if it was gonna keep raining all week, we pull it down here, but we're just gonna use it for our fuel trailer. I'm getting ready to head out, grab this truck, run up there and help him, and then I've gotta start figuring out something to do with the drive shaft for the PTO that's on the pump. I'm gonna try putting together a spare because it's been known to blow apart, obviously. So that's what's going on. Playing in the water. It's fun time. Sometimes it's nice to farm on a hill. Well, me and Michael's headed back in. Go check on Roger. Taking the fuel tractor. He just crawled on the levee up there. And I'm bringing food and whatnot. We're going to fuel Roger up and grease all the U-joints. Leave him down here for the night. Hopefully everything goes well. I got a power shaft made. And hopefully that one don't break. But if it does, I've got a kind of a threw together power shaft I made out of some pieces that we had at the shop. That way he's got to back up. Water's not getting any shallower, as you can see. Now well, we're going to go down here and pull service and head back home. I guess this will be the end of the video. I hope it's not too chopped up. It's hard to video and be muddy and nasty and sweaty all at the same time. And it was definitely all of that down there in the bottoms. But I'm gonna head home and hopefully Roger has a peaceful evening down at the pump. And we'll catch you next time. Hope you enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching.